Welcome to Hood Champion Boxing and Sports. Uh-oh. In boxing, you find a way to win or you find a way to lose. Let me uh, fix this. Look like I'm about to fall out together. There we go. So Canelo and Berlanga. The pay-per-view card, uh, undercard lineup is, is out. <sighs> the fight takes place in a couple weeks, man. Saturday, September 14th. But I'm looking at this, right? And, and and I'm just I'm just what what I see when I look at this fight card, I see that Canelo got almost all the money. I, I'm looking at who they put on here. And maybe if this was eight years ago, although Roly Romero wasn't really doing much, but maybe I would say this fight fight card is stacked. Um, but Caleb Plant, Laura Garcia, and then Canelo fighting, and you know. But, but I just I don't I don't know, man. I'm not a I'm not I'm not too too over the hill about this this fight card. Now Canelo and Belinga, right? I'll go ahead and just talk about them first. Let let me tell you this. The real fight here on this card is Canelo and Belinga. Now, for those of you who don't know, uh, Edgar Belinga, this if you look out there, Edgar Belinga has a a video on YouTube um, where showing him training, getting ready for Canelo. There's a guy where Edgar Belenga is on the track and he's training, right? There is a guy who looks like Angel Mimo Heredia. And I believe that's him. And let me tell you this. If Angel Heredia is working with Edgar Belenga, Lord have mercy. Let me tell you something. Shit gonna hit the fan when Belenga gets in that ring to face Canelo. I know people have an opinion about Belenga. Even I said Belenga, Belenga dies, right, against Canelo. But Belenga and his team have crossed all T's, dotted all I's. Shit, they've even eaten, they've been singing a song, Hot Cross Buns. They call it a Red Cross. They crossed the road. I mean, they got them listening to Jump Jump by Criss Cross. Everything about them is, is, is tightening, tightening up all loose ends. Now, for those of you who say, hey, hold your, hold, your, hold your horses, hood champion. Let's not take it to the stupid. Hey, to you I say, screw you, subscriber. We know. That's why I talk so much about it. With that guy, Angel Heredia, if he's working with a fighter, them fighters come out. Blasting, blazing, nonstop goddamn stamina. They're different animals. I just think Berlinga has a real chance of upsetting the apple cart. I didn't think that. I didn't think he had that much of a chance until I saw that shit. I said, uh oh, this is a problem. Now for Canelo. Canelo is confident. Canelo has IQ. Canelo has the experience. Canelo has everything. When you look on paper, right, that would lead you to believe that Canelo will get in the ring with Edgar Belenga and put in put on a display of outstanding Guadalajara Jalisco Bing Bings on the New York Rican. But I got to be careful and hold my horses and not take it to the stupid because I just have a weird feeling. After seeing that shit, I said, oh my God, Canelo's about to lose. Canelo's about to lose. Remember this, people. Listen. Listen to what I'm telling you. Edgar Belenga is Eddie Hearn's fighter. Eddie Hearn is all about the dollar bill, y'all. Canelo, Canelo's still a bad boy. I like Canelo. But he's not the Canelo of old. He did look somewhat vulnerable against Jaime Munguia until Canelo landed the game-changing uppercut, right? But this could be, a, you know me, I love conspiracy theories. This could be a situation where Canelo, is the, he was led to believe they're feeding him Edgar Belenga. Mexico versus Puerto Rico, right? All that bullshit. But what, they, what it is here is you got a Guadalajara Jalisco Mexican Putting him in there with a crocodile, man eating crocodile.
for this fight in particular. And Belenga gonna put that chop chop on Canelo. And you same thing they're doing with Shakir Stevenson. On paper, Joe Cordina shouldn't stand a chance against Shakir Stevenson. <laughs> then you find out Shakir, uh, Joe Cordina got Ben Davidson training him for this fight. A strategist. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. But outside of Canelo and Belenga, I still think Canelo should be the favorite. I, I just have a feeling. I'm telling you, man. When I saw that, I said, uh-oh. That's all bad for, uh, for Canalito. But that's, that's the fight I'm looking forward to seeing. Of course, it's the headliner, but that don't mean, the headliner doesn't always mean that's the fight I want to see. Like Terrence Crawford and Marjimov. I mean, yeah, we want to see it, but that wasn't the fight. It was Pitbull and El Rayo. You know what I'm saying? It was uh, Jared Anderson and, uh, and Bacoli. Andy Ruiz and Big Baby Miller. That was a stacked goddamn undercard. This shit here ain't stacked. Eris Landi Lara and Danny Garcia. The fuck? What are we doing here? Eris Landi Lara and Danny Garcia? Buddy want to see that shit? Yo, good for them. They can get another payday, but nobody wants to see that. Danny getting it because he from Philadelphia, Puerto Rican mother and father, whatever, right? He's American. Puerto Rico is part of America, but y'all know he born and raised here. He's from Philadelphia. It's like Berlanga from fucking New York. Eris Landy Lara. Yeah, the Cuban, he ain't what he was. He ain't the guy who fought Paul Williams, but he still got that bazooka left hand. And he got that long reach. I think he's going to knock out Danny Garcia. We know Danny Garcia's got a chin. Too many years inactive, uh, arm too short. I just don't think he closes the gap on Arizona Lara. I don't think he gets him out of there. I think this is the fight where Lara knocks out Danny Garcia and Danny Garcia finally goes into retirement. Go on out there and manage your little real estate portfolio in your barber shops. Do your little weird dances and ride around in your Tesla truck. I don't think Danny Garcia stands a chance, to be honest with you. Hey, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I just think Lara has just evolved his style to not throw too many punches to limit his movement and just time you with that big Cuban missile of a left goddamn hand. So I think he lands on Danny Garcia and puts him down and may put him out. Um, Caleb Plant, this guy, McCumbie. Hey, have no idea who McCumbie is. Matter of fact, McCumbie may be straight McDonald's. He may be a straight cheeseburger. Caleb Plant out here fighting Darrell, fighting Canelo. Fighting Benavidez. Now he's fighting McCumbie? Get the hell out of here, man. I like Caleb Plant, but I don't like this fight. It's a horrible fucking fight. Plant should win with no problem. Laura and Garcia, I got Laura winning. But Plant, he should win with no problem. I want Plant to win. I don't I don't I think they be messing with Caleb Plant for no reason. Why everybody mess with Caleb Plant? Because he's a white country boy? That shit's crazy to me. You know, just messing with somebody because of their race, white, black, whatever. Like that, just, I don't, I don't get that. So don't want to kill a plant. His quills stay out. You don't ever retract those quills. His quills are always out. That's because he's probably his whole life, especially in the sport that he's in, he probably had to, you know, fight. People messing with him, just underestimating him. So his quills stay out and he stays ready. He stays ready to put the bing bings on someone. But that's just a fact where that, to me, is a waste of time. And then Rolly Romero and this guy, uh, James, Jaime, or James, whatever his name is. I hope Rolly gets the victory, but let me tell y'all something. Rolly out here trying to be a boxer now. He's up there with Salas, whatever the guy's name is, man. You see Rolly out here? Like he, Muhammad Ali or something. This man, who he Mayweather now? He's Sugar Ray Leonard now? And getting up on his toes and trying to box and catch and counter and slip. And, I mean, what is he doing? Now, you watch this guy, Jaimez or James, whatever his last name. You watch him come out here and knock Rolly Romero. Because they got Rolly Romero trying to be something he's not. You can't turn a tiger into a pussycat. You can't take a lion and turn him into a pussycat. Let a lion roar. 
Not this. Y'all got Rolly Romero in here meowing? Horrible. Why? Because he fought Tank Davis and Tank hit him with the Baltimore bing bing. That's what happens when people fight Tank. And they all want to change the man. Then he fights Ismael Barroso. Old man Barroso put that goddamn Venezuelan bing beans on him. So now, now you got the goddamn Ro Roly Romero, El Leon, turn him into an El Pussycato. Instead of roaring, roar, he meow, 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 meow. Horrible. Man, if Roly get his ass knocked out here, it's over for him. They should have left him with Coach Bullet. Let Roly fight dirty, fight aggressive. Use a little bit of that Taekwondo. Let that man get, sit that man and hip toss people in the ring. Let him fight the way he fought. Now you got him out there looking crazy. When Roley fought Pitbull Cruz, Roley had a good chance to win that fight. The reason he lost it because they had him in there trying to be a stinking boxer. What's he doing? That shit was horrible. He ain't Terrence Crawford. He not even a boxer puncher. Roley a brawler, man. Goddamn, maybe old hood champion need to dust off the goddamn train a robe and shit and get my ass out there and start to train goddamn fighters because one thing for sure if I got a guy who come in there and say I need help and I know this guy's known for knocking out people and being physical you know what you don't do you don't try to change him you just look to ways to enhance and improve him you can't just come and overhaul somebody you make some refinements but you don't come and just overhaul them and to me that's what they don't really remember they've overhauled them how about this if you're going to try to overhaul a lion and make him a pussycat, well, make sure you find a way to fix that goddamn chin, too. Ain't no need to, to you know, work on his defense, cool, but don't change his whole style. Let him be what he was. That's what got him all that success. Overthinking, not reacting instinctively no more, man. That shit messed Roly up. But anyway, as far as this fight card, uh, Canelo and Belenga, that shit's going to be all right, I'm telling you, especially if... Angel Heredia is helping Belenga. That shit's going to be all right. But but Laura Garcia, Plant McCombie, Roley, and James, this shit is like... It's, this is a shit sandwich. And they want y'all to digest that shit and then come back and tell them, oh, that was the best shit sandwich I ever had. How can you expect someone to eat a shit sandwich and tell you how good it tastes? I, mean, what the f I don't want it. Give me some curry goat. Give me some planted. Give me some goddamn cassava and some salt fish and tomato and shit. I don't want a shit sandwich. And that's what they're trying to give y'all on this undercard. The main event is on point. Especially with Belenga working with that heredia. I'm telling y'all, that's going to be a problem. But the rest of that, shit sandwich. Pass up on the appetizers. Wait for the main course to come out. Y'all keep cool. In the breeze.